tuning in to want to learn from him. And he's always here uh, together with uh, Professor Charles, checking on me and seeing what I'm doing and guiding me through. When I see them, I feel comfortable because I know that I'm, um, sometimes I might do something wrong, but they are ready to correct me at all times. It's good to have a great mentor. If you are a leader or you are a young person, if you don't have a mentor, I will advise you, please get yourself a mentor because they've been there where you are still starting. That means wherever you are going, they are there already or they've already passed by. So they need to now get closer to us or we get closer to them so that we can hear all their all their wisdoms and knowledge and grab everything. <laughs> so, and it's a great privilege to invite them always to come and share on this platform because I don't want to be greedy. I'm learning personally from them, but I want all my leaders also to learn from them. So let me not waste much time. Let me introduce to you Professor TPS Sasikuma from India. You are welcome, sir. Namaskar. Namaskar. Om Sahana Babatu. Sahanao Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejasvina Vadhida Mastu Ma Vidyushavahai Om Shanti 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 This is a age-old chanting from the Eastern philosophy, India, which says, Om Sahana Vavatu. Let us be together, move it together. Either we are in studies or working together, let us be together. And I am sure the matter of relationship is being together. So the first line itself says, Om Sahana Vavatu. Be together. Sahana Bhunaktu. Let us have food together. Let us eat together. The earlier speaker was mentioning about physical. It's actually physical. Live together, eat together. Sahaviryam Karavavahai. Let us perform together. Let us do our actions together. No one single individual can make this world. It's only together. So you can have professional relationship. I, I was driven to this loka because I have seen Bloom's taxonomy. I am also a management professor. But I feel we, we reinvent the same will. Keep repeating, talking the same thing. Understand this was told long, long back. Om Sahana Vavatu, let us live together. Sahana Bhunaktu, let us eat together. Sahaviryam Karavavahai, let us act together. Tejasvina Vadhidamastu, Ma Vidyushavahai, most important. Let us be brilliant and brighter and brighter without any hatred to anybody else. My religion is good, but doesn't mean other religion is bad. My culture is good. That doesn't mean other culture is bad. Why? The last line. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Let us have peace here. So relationship with nature. That is most essential. I am connected to my sister, Professor Dr. Queen Elizabeth. She makes good jokes sometimes. I love that. I don't know, you must have listened very carefully between the words what she said. I am her personal mentor. I, I enjoyed it. But the next sentence was to encourage youngsters to find out senior people to become your mentors. 
That means she want to prove I am much older than her. <laughs> In, indirectly. But I, I am much younger than um, Professor Dr. Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> Don't see this. Wisdom is not with the white hair. Right. Anyway, great Women's Day. It's going to come on 8th. I wanted to read my... I write a lot of books on life. So this is my book on Life of Love which I authored in 2007. Published in 2009 and again 15 reprinted. One of the poem here on 19th one. It's available on internet. You can download it and read. Sabotaged relationships. There are moments when relationships are sabotaged. That's a concern all of us have. Learn to perceive life with amusement, not with in shocks. Observe the delight in diversity, drudgery, entertain the wonders. Of contrasts, don't kill it with cynicism, criticism. I think many of the earlier speakers have highlighted this. Enjoy its awesome appeal. Tackle it with the heart, not with your brain. Don't have reasonable reasons for finding why and why not. Where and when and how. It doesn't matter. Tackle it with yes, the heart. Relate it to your love. Open your eyes. To appreciate the beauty. In a different reality. I think the nature is full of relationship. Everybody is related to each other. You can see the whole Ecological balance is with the relationships. No, no one in this world, no creature in this world can live without helping somebody else or without the help of somebody else. Probably there is only one animal who is not useful for any other animal. That is human being. Every other animal is useful for somebody else by creation. Probably that is the biggest ego which we have. So, we have a rational, we have a reason, we are called a human being, we are called a social being. So, we, we must learn how to adjust with no complaints. Understand, for only, only for us, the distance can be too long, but the love can be too short. And long waiting, but... The time can be very very short because it's all in our thoughts controlling thoughts understanding life relationships are plenty because of the so-called social life the diplomatic life not the simple life but we manipulate relationships therefore we have state politics therefore we have state relationship we have religious politics Therefore, we have religious relationships. Somebody tie up with somebody else because we want to destroy the other fellow. Not because we love them. So, relationships are like tying up for war. This is a time where our relationship is in hardship. Not relationship. Relationships are in hardship now. We have cultural, academic, economic, business, professional, customer relationships. All our relationships. You see the whole world maximum movies are made where relationship conflicts, contradictions, tie-ups, war, breaking, shaking, fighting, all these are what is being shot. So there is no security. There is no assurance bond. There is no defense. The villain becomes a critic. Criticism is part of fight. Uh, there is a great proverb which says familiarity breeds contempt. That means it has no value. 
I, I keep rewriting the old proverbs. I feel familiarity breeds love. It should have been the right one. So how do we build good relationship? It's not with lecture, not with classes. I think we should take great projects where people work together. When we have a common goal of action, the relationship automatically gets into place. Activity gives sharing and caring. We love each other because we want to bring our project great. Assume that you are in a family. How do you make your relationship strong? You have to have a big project. I am going to construct a big house. I am sure every day people are busy with the great things and your small problems will become diluted. So how do you get the small pains in your life to go? The only method is to get a bigger pain. How do you connect to people only when you have a satsang, spiritual relationship, professional relationship? So take a busy task, but don't have ego. I remember somebody who get connected like this. When I spoke to somebody, somebody spoke to me, they felt bad. No, through my platform, you connect it. So the platforms are to connect each other. Right. So how can you have that ego that, you know, my person talk to this person. How, where is my person and your person? Everybody is our person, right? We are in a social world. Relationships are strange these days because of arrogance, non-acceptance. What is acceptance is what is relationship. Assurance is relationship. The negatives of all these are also present in this world. There are ups and downs. A lot of bad communication, no communication, confusions. People cut relationship. And say that, no, I was in relationship with so and so, her or him. And now we are not. That means the earlier was not relationship. Because you cannot cut relationships. Relationship is understanding. Once you understand each other, I don't think anybody can cut in this world. So if they are cut, that means earlier it was not relationship. It was only companionship. Companionship, when it becomes matured, it becomes a relationship. Being together, understanding together, and then when it gets matured, ripened, it becomes a relationship. So no relationship can cut. It can only create love each other. So understand, accept. If I say, my sister, professor, Dr. Queen Elizabeth, I met on Facebook in some programs and through which when other Facebook request comes, I will just see who is my common friend. Oh. Dr. Elizabeth is my friend and the friend of others immediately accept because this is like a bank account creation when you need a reference. If there is no referral, no bank is going to give you an account. So relationship is like an account in which you can always create accounts and that much rich you should be. Then only the bank will give you an account. They will give you credit only when they know that you can repay it. So I'm sure we always have a account of the bandhu. Artham hi loge manujasya bandhu. We categorize people based on the merit which they carry. Based on the merit we keep relationships. If you are blind in your relationships, I am sure you are going to fall in troubles tomorrow. So connection, attachment, understanding, the value and the merit of it. So no complaints tomorrow. So no breakage tomorrow. We keep references. And life is a great bank account with relationship. And that's an emotional bank. Sometimes intellectual bank. And social bank. And appreciate the other person can take a loan. Take credit. Repay it. Probably installments. Okay. And if it doesn't work, what do you do? Deny that. And there can be sometime when you have to ignore, sometime you have to de-respect and close the account. That's also possible. I can go on and on, but I'm sure we are going to have a physical, emotional, intellectual, social, spiritual relationship, which becomes more stronger and stronger. And that is what every one of us should 
open up ourselves for a greater future for those people who are denied this those people who are not opened up to this world of relationship bring them into our fold that's all what we can do namaskaram and pranams thank you thank you my sister professor dr kyun elizabeth for this chance given to me to speak to you all i'm sorry my camera was not on because tomorrow i'm traveling again uh, to nepal and i'm packing my dress in between i have not lost a single bit of the lectures i am listening to that thank you thank god you bless so much. god bless you thank you thank you so much sir we really appreciate your time and we appreciate what you've laid, uh, taught us today about getting together working together eating together and i believe when we say eating together i believe on this platform that's what we're doing we're eating the words <laughs> together <laughs> we are sharing and gaining and eating together and that is what relationship is all about one thing i have learned in life and that's what is happening on my platform of yes you can is about bringing people together appreciating them and also learning together and standing together you always hear me say that we learn together we stand together no one can be an island and a tree cannot be a forest so but then there's no point gathering together and being divided gathering together and being divided you know what that means that means we are together but our mind is not together so that's why we need to work together we need to share together and we need to learn together and today we need to eat together <laughs> it doesn't matter what kind of food but we are still eating and we are still gaining together and also i want to appreciate my mentor as well because uh, he's a man of wisdom a man of knowledge he's been there he said professor is not just honorary professor he studied he went to school studied math science everything so that is why i cannot let him go and uh, Do you have question any question oh, okay so that's why i cannot let him go i have to make sure that i'm bringing him back back every day to come and share with us and i really appreciate you sir thank you so much for sharing i also want to if you have any question quickly because my mentor we always appreciate mm. questions and because that is the way you can have a better understanding of what we are sharing and also clarify everything that you don't understand on because we don't just want to have another conference and then when i mean when you finish this conference and somebody asks you what have you gained from there and then uh, you will say the common language oh they spoke a lot there are a lot of great great leaders there what have you got what have you learned personally <laughs> and then you will be saying um 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 they talk about relationship oh yes it's true that's the theme of this conference but what have you personally gained what have you gained from it because that is why it's good for you to ask questions sometimes so if there's anybody have questions please um my professor is still around so you can just put it on the chat box and i know he can come back and answer those questions okay let's move on thank you sir professor charles and um, professor tps thank you so much for sharing with us i keep on mentioning professor charles because two of them are my mentors <laughs> i mean between two giants <laughs> okay it's I pardon me I'm just being myself sorry I'm sorry if I'm really <laughs> I'm human being you know <laughs> there's no point having a conference and everybody is looking serious it's part of lives we have to enjoy what we're doing and I'm enjoying and I want to believe that we are all enjoying this atmosphere atmosphere you cannot buy and you cannot find any way so enjoy it while you are still here 
Ok, 